Hi, and welcome to another 4Net Players tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about setting up a dedicated server configuration for Satisfactory. Server Setup If you haven't done so already, let us first create a server configuration for Satisfactory. Head over to the customer login on 4netplayers.com, go to Game Server, and click on the big Create a New Game Configuration button. Use the keyword search to look for Satisfactory directly or scroll through the available titles. Click on the cover art and then follow the on-screen instructions to create your own Satisfactory server. How do I play on my Satisfactory server? Start your game. First, click on Server Manager. Next, click on Add Server. Enter your server's IP address. Unless your port is 7777, you have to enter it as well. Now click Confirm. You'll also have to click Confirm when the server certificate warning message pops into view. Next, you'll be asked to claim the server. You need to assign a server name and an admin password. Save or at least take a mental note of your admin password as you won't be able to view it again. Now click Create Game. Here you can pick from various worlds and choose a session name. Make sure to only use numbers, uppercase and lowercase letters, and no special characters. By the way, the session name also happens to be the name of the save game. Once again, click Confirm when you're happy with your settings. The actual game will now be created. Continue or join the game. Start your game. First, click on Server Manager. Next, click on Add Server. Enter your server's IP address. Unless your port is 7777, you have to enter it as well. Now, click Confirm. You'll also have to click Confirm when the server certificate warning message pops into view. On the status window, click Join Game. Server Settings In order to configure the server, it needs to be set to Advanced Mode first. If you want your settings to persist, the server mandatorily needs to stay in Advanced Mode from now on. You'll find the server settings directly in the game. So start the game, click on Server Manager, and then click on your recently created Satisfactory server. Now go to the Server Settings tab. Next, you'll probably be asked to enter your admin password, so better have it at the ready. In the server settings window, you can, for example, change the name of your server, alter your admin password, add password protection to the server, or tinker with gameplay settings, such as the interval for autosaves. When you're done with your settings, confirm with a click on Apply. If you have any further questions or need additional support, visit us at ornetplayers.com support. If you don't have your own satisfactory server yet, you can easily start one on 4netplayers.com. Enter code TUTORIAL at the checkout screen for 3 euros off. Did you like the video? Then don't forget to like and subscribe.